we're presenting a budget this year for the 2022-2023 uh, fiscal year for the general fund of $136,798 and a proposed budget for the utility fund of $270,685. And I want to elaborate on some of this. This proposed budget does have a proposed tax increase on a cigarette tax from 10 cents per pack back up to 20 cents per pack uh, as it was up until a year ago when we reduced it. We need to have a separate public hearing on that. Uh, no. Okay. And it also is proposing an increase in everyone's sewer bill of $7.25 per 4,000 gallons of usage. What this does not present for the third year in a row is a pay increase for our employees. We just don't have it. We don't have the money to give a pay increase. What does reflect in this budget, though, is a pretty substantial increase in the hospitalization been, uh, premiums for the benefits that we offer to our full-time employees. And I think you figured that at 30%? It was 11. 11%, I'm sorry, 11% increase over last year, which is a, su a substantial increase. The sewer rate, I want to talk about that just a little bit. And I want you to understand that when we increase this sewer rate this year, this is nowhere near a break-even number for what our sewer expenses are, sewer cost treatments costs are every month. This fiscal year, which ends June 30th of this year, June 31st of this year, we were paying Allegheny County $14,513.18 per month for treatment costs. That's our monthly budgeted amount. The increase in that monthly budget amount for the next fiscal year is, six, is up to $16,813.88, roughly a $2,300 increase per month. Now, if you just sit down and you do the basic math on that, and you divide that out, $2,300, by the number of households and sewer customers we have, you're going to come in at somewhere right around $19, $19.98 increase per household. We've been able to hold that back a little bit over the last several years, and what we have done is we have offset our wastewater expenses by the profit that we've been making on the drinking water accounts. This is the last year that we can do that. After this year, we will have used all of the available profit off of the water uh, revenue that we have available. So facing next year, when the budget is, is worked on, you're probably going to be facing an increase on both sides, wastewater and drinking water. Allegheny County manages or operates the wastewater treatment plant on the Fork Farm. They have a contract with ESS Services to manage that plant. They pay $1,045,166.27 per year on that contract. I have asked Allegheny County to take a really close look at this contract and justify to us why that is such an enormous amount of money. Um, and I have been uh, assured by Allegheny County that they are reviewing this contract and that they will get back to us. So that is in the works. Just And I say that because I, I want you to realize we are not, not in the, we are not, not advocating for the residents down here. We're trying to uncover every stone we can to get relief on these charges. Having said all of that, we were prepared to present a budget to you tonight that reflected a $13 per household 
increase in your sewer rate. And Wendy redid her numbers and she came up with a $7 figure to be able to make ends meet. But by no means is, is the sewer revenue that we're taking in every month paying for itself. I just need for everybody to understand that. The water uh, rates have been, been chalking us. We're also faced with a situation this year where we're going to be negotiating a new contract with Virginia, Western Virginia Water Authority for the management of the old Petrus system of water in Botetourt County, as well as the uh, sewer uh, conveyance agreement that we have with them to take the sewage from those customers down there and convey it to the treatment plant. We are in the process of getting ready to sit down and start talking with them on that. We're currently operating under a contract uh, that was signed in 1982 uh, that will be due shortly for renewal. So <coughs> this is the projected budget. This is you, the projected tax increase on the cigarettes goes from 10 cents per pack to 20 cents per pack and the proposed increase on wastewater treatment of $7.25 per 4,000 gallons of usage. There is no real estate in increase in taxes. There's no personal property increase in taxes and there is no water rate increase per household this year. Any comments that council would like to make about the budget before I open it for questions or comments from the floor? Jennifer? Enough is enough. I wish I could say that, but it will never be enough. The reason our sewer bill is outrageous sits across the river. I'm not satisfied with this budget. No one on council should be satisfied with it, nor any citizen should be satisfied with it. What we are being dealt. Having the highest or one of the highest utility bills in the state is outrageous. I asked, can one locality bankrupt another? Yes. We must appeal to our representatives on the Board of Supervisors to understand what issues the sewer is costing this town. The cost is too high for a town of less than 400 people to bear. Most are senior citizens on fixed incomes. We cannot let this challenge overcome us. We must rise to the occasion and find the answers to the challenge or this small town will not have a future. Debbie, you got anything you'd like to say? No, I'm in complete agreement with Jennifer. It's crippling, it's crushing. Richard, Kuala. Um, I saw in last night's Covington paper, or yesterday's paper, that the uh, Allegheny County Board of Supervisors is going to be holding a public hearing on Tuesday, June the 7th at 7 p.m. there at the boardroom at the County Governmental Complex. Uh, in this notice to the public, they have got Clifton Forge listed at $3.96 per 1,000 gallons. And they have Iron Gate listed at $16,810 per month. Um, I think that's wrong. I know that's wrong. Somebody has made a mistake in the figures and it needs to be found because this town cannot survive with those kind of bills coming at us. And just to complete your statement, our bulk rate is $2.72 per thousand? Somewhere along. Birdie, any comment? Gary? We just gotta figure out a way to make it better. What we can do and there's gotta be resources out there that we can tap into somewhere. I know Wendy's work, her hind end off trying to do things uh, above and beyond. I know Chuck has um, previous counsel. We've gotta do something because you're right, we can't survive like that. Our town will not. But that doesn't mean we'll stop fighting. That's what we're here for. 
And just so everybody knows, all of those statements have been said point blank to the powers that be in Allegheny County. Um, I've had two meetings with them about the, the sewer rates. Um, we are waiting to hear back from Thompson and Litton about the possibility of using our second stipend of ARPA money, which we're due to get along with what we have left from the first stipend as a grant match to be able to leverage some grant money to work on some of the worst portions of the sewer system. Um, <clears throat> And, and maybe that will be enough to bridge the gap so we can start seeing some reduction in our cost and put that money toward future repairs. Um, but, you know, the, the sewer charges are what's crippling us right now. And um, it is what it is. I mean, we know our system is, is in bad shape, and we know that we're usually treating five, four to five times as much wastewater as we purchase in fresh water every month. But we're in such a bind, we can't qualify for any loans or any grant money unless maybe we can use this ARPA money to help bridge that. So this is the budget as presented. Is there any questions or comments from the floor on it? Wendy, anything you'd like to add about it? Thank you for all your hard work on it. Jennifer and Kawana, thank y'all. We met and met and met and met and finally came up with this budget. So hearing no further comments on the proposed budget for the fiscal year 2022-2023 with the proposed increase in sewer rates and cigarette tax as discussed, I will ask for a motion to adjourn the public hearing for tonight's meeting. I'll make that motion. Motion has been made by Councilperson Vice Mayor to adjourn the public hearing portion of tonight's meeting. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Councilperson Craig. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Public hearing portion of tonight's meeting is now uh, adjourned. We